back. I'm running around like I miss Ellie, jewelry moving like juice. Hello, beautiful people. Peace to you, peace to you. We are back with another vlog, and this time we are spending 27 hours in Houston, Texas. And we're doing it on a budget with spirit. Yes, our total flight and hotel and rental car was less than $350. Yes. always book Turo. It saves me time and a lot of headaches going through the rental process at the airport. I want to give a special shout out to our Turo host, Cassandra. She was very accommodating. The vehicle was clean. It was big. It was exactly what we needed. Okay, so one of the goals of this trip is to budget travel. And to do that, we chose three-star accommodations at Hilton Garden Inn. But what I will say is Hilton Garden Inn really did not disappoint. The facility was clean. The staff was great. It was exactly what we needed for our short stay there. Special shout out to the front desk staff, Brandon. He was great and super accommodating, and we are just so grateful to him. And this is just a view of our room. The room was, again, very simple. We only stayed there for one night. We did share a bed, although that couch does turn into a bed. The bathroom was decent. Okay, the lighting was good. That was one good thing. The bathroom was nice. The bathtub was a little small, but again, it was just for one night. We loved it. So here we're getting ready to hit the Houston streets, baby. So on the way to review the vegan restaurant that we chose this time, we saw this dispensary and we thought it would be a really great idea to go in here and show you all what the dispensaries look like in Houston. Now, this is a spice cake. The lady who works there, who was super sweet, told us that this was really, really strong. And she also showed us the flower. And flower is basically just cannabis flower we asked her the strongest one and this is the one that she showed us so check it out so we finally made it to one of the reasons we are here and that is Vegos authentic Mexican vegan restaurant which is a hundred percent vegan I just want to point out the vibrancy in this establishment it is super vibrant um, cool little writings on the wall vegan for the animals you know the staff was spectacular the staff here he is actually making my tostada i ordered tostadas along with a few other items he allowed my non-vegan sister to try all of the vegan meats that she wanted in order to make an informed decision and we opted for the chiroso tostada that was made with potatoes now, what I really like about this restaurant is its affordability. I mean, with all of what I ordered, which you're going to see in just a little bit, I still spent less than $30 on my meal. And this is everything that I ordered, okay? The food was amazing. Can't you tell by my face? Like, I'm savoring this. And anyway, I think I just really love Mexican food anyway, so... That was definitely a plus. So I also ordered the tacos and those were really the star of the show. The corn tortilla was amazing. I got these with El Pastor meat, which was made out of soy. This is the Mexican sandwich with Chiroso. The next time I order this, I'm 100% ordering it with El Pastor. I also got the carrot cake. It was super good, but the star of the show was hands down the tacos. So after dinner, we came back to the hotel, we changed, and we headed out to the nightlife in Houston. We were headed to a club called Space Nightclub, which is actually free before 11 p.m., 
but as you can see we got there a little bit late so we didn't get to go in because we didn't want to pay 52 dollars because the goal of this trip is budget travel this is what i wore yeah this is what i wore so the goal of this trip is budget travel so we were not about to pay 52 dollars to get into a nightclub plus we spoke with a local and she was like yeah girl don't pay to get in there unless somebody's paying for it for you but we ended up going to this really nice place called paradise palace in midtown in houston it was very much giving you know latina vibe so if you are a latina this is the place for you and i also noticed this place is very lgbtq plus friendly for those of you who are wondering what you can do in houston this is a place for you so just to let you know with this club they are free every night except for friday and saturday on friday and saturday it's ten dollars to get in but it was definitely a vibe so we've concluded both by observation and by the locals that there isn't a lot of free things to do in houston however the locals did recommend truck yard it was highly recommended we were told that they have great music great food great drinks because we were there late we didn't really get that experience we did get the great lighting we did have access to drinks but we opted not to drink there we did not find food here either so in houston it's really difficult to find food late at night unless you're willing to go to fast food but nonetheless like i said it was definitely giving relaxing vibes and i would 100 percent recommend coming and visiting truck yard we will definitely be back if we're ever back in houston to visit this location okay so at 1 55 in the morning vegetarian options are few and far in between as far as food i got the french fries onion rings and a milkshake i felt like a fat cow just to let you know in the morning we woke up we went to breakfast this is the buffet at hilton garden inn this is what the buffet looks like if you're gonna book with me you can choose anything from this list okay to order and it will come with the rest of the buffet items so this is what i got i got some bagels i got some potatoes and i got a waffle this is my sister and i kind of closing off this vlog so finally we went to the diaspora festival diaspora festival this was at Carbach brewing and we just want to mention that it was hot as beep <laughs> in houston texas let me just tell you like there's no way the camera can capture how hot we are we were super hot okay just be above and beyond hot opportunity to meet the owners of chef seti's creole cuisine they were awesome their food was great although they did not have a lot of vegetarian options they did allow me to taste test their french fries and you're going to see that in the next clip my sister actually ordered the french fries and she really really loved them so yeah so this is me actually taste testing the fries they were vegetarian they were flavored like fish they were super good now i actually went to a different food truck i'm not really sure the name of the food truck they weren't really nice so it really didn't matter um i got macaroni and cheese bites and french fries those were good again fat as heck all right all right so this brings us to the end of the trip overall i really loved houston i especially love vagos mexican authentic vegan food and be sure to download the circle app dot travel app for android and ios so i can curate your next 27 hour trip don't ever change for anybody don't ever change your soul don't even listen to him he don't know nothing else.